Welcome back to the vlog. Today we are doing something very special. We are about to test out the world's cheapest car. Made in China, all electric, retail. If you buy it like on Alibaba, it's like 1200 bucks. Hold on, you can buy this on Alibaba? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're imported. There it is. There it is. Oh, look at that little it's idiot. It's blue. My Jeez daughter on has the bigger toys than that thing. That's not who watch on YouTube. Hold on, time out. It's so much smaller than it looks. It's... That's what she said. That's my joke. Way smaller than it looks. I'm gonna have to pick this off the trailer. Bro, this this what is not this is not the car in the picture. This is the mini version. This is no, no, this is it. Size. I, I promise. It's on here on camera. Okay, it's, it's even smaller than the pictures. Oh. It's tiny. I, this is the coolest thing. <laughs> I, and I, you get in, you get inside. You got room. Like, trust me, it it's awesome. I'll room get off for how many though? How many are in the United States? Is there States a hole right? in the floor four, where you kick four and four grown Asians? Four grown Asians, so half of me. <laughs> it's like the tent you buy with. It's like. <laughs> what the hell, man? I don't know. My friend Caleb here emailed me, and he said he has the world's cheapest car, and he, you import these apparently, right? Oh, yeah. Who, who makes it? It's a company in China, and this is called the Chang Li. The Chang Li. It is the world's cheapest electric vehicle. You gotta kick through the floor. Yep. Will it power with you in there? There's Bluetooth? Okay, wait. So, this is the yeah, world's cheapest electric vehicle. It's the thing with electric cars. Everybody wants one. Nobody can really totally afford a Tesla yet. This is a fun in-between mix between a like a real car and a golf cart. That's what it is. Is it road legal? It is road legal for low-speed vehicle use. Like golf cart Like golf cart community, golf cart community yeah. stuff like that. So what's so the top wait. speed? 28. For a guy like this, probably like 10. Hold on. <laughs> so it is street legal. It's same as a side by side, so it has all the same safety okay. features as side by side. It'll go 28 miles an hour top speed with nobody in it. Yep. <laughs> if you're ghosting it downhill <laughs> and running alongside, pushing the back. What's the range? Uh, it'll go 30 miles. 30 miles. Uh huh. And then you got to charge it. This is a great little get around thing around town. Yeah, around town and communities. This thing is awesome. I mean, dude, this is I, a grocery I, I bought like 16 golf carts at this point in my life. How long They're does it take, take to charge from fully dead to fully charged? Three hours. Here's here's what I'm seeing right now. I thought this was going to be plastic. It's literally all metal. Okay. This is well built. This is no joke. What's it weigh? Uh, like 16 six, pounds. Like 16 or 13. 600 pounds. 600 pounds. What's the payload? I have no idea. Here, get to be out honest. You want to you want to so find out? Yeah, yeah, let's try. Let's line. try yeah. out. First test. Can one person lift it up? Oh, oh, oh my oh, gosh. Oh, 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 <laughs> Next test. Can four people lift it up from each corner? Uh, one, two, two. three. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be fun. I might, this is gonna end up with probably a Cummins in it by the time we're done. Okay, so real quick, Caleb, before we go destroy this thing. Yes, please do too. Where can people find these? What do you, 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 you go plug? This is plug time. This is electricimportmotors.com. We imported a bunch of these. We freaking love them. We do the duties, taxi, taxes, shipping, customs, all of that stuff to get it straight to you. 3,800 bucks is our price and get one for your community, man. They're awesome. So what if, what if they live on the East Coast? Yeah, just reach out to us. We can ship them anywhere in the country. We import them, bring them in, do quality assurance, and ship them straight to you. That's exciting. You guys ready to go for a ride? So we're gonna go do some testing. We're gonna go weigh it. We're gonna go do some speed tests. We're gonna do some downhill tests. Hey! Hey! Wait! Wait! Hey! Wait for us! Hey! Hey! Stop what you're doing! Stop what you're doing! And listen to this! I'm so glad we caught you. Hey, listen. We've been trying to get a hold of you about your car's extended warranty. <laughs> Wait, no, actually, we have another message for you. What is it? And it's right here. Ever since we started vlogging again regularly, we've had all sorts of companies reaching out to us saying, hey, can we promote this on your channel or can you run this ad? And to be very honest with you, we've said no to a lot of companies because we don't want to promote something that we don't actually believe in. However, we are here today about something that we do believe in. That's why the sponsor of this week's video is Credit MRI. Now here's the deal. The credit repair industry is full of a bunch of dirtbags. Let's just be honest. There's a bunch of companies out there who promise you all sorts of stuff and they deliver absolutely nothing after you paid them. And that doesn't work. See, I'm very familiar with the credit industry because I've been there, done that, and I found that, honestly, there's very few companies that I would trust to be able to go in and actually help repair my credit. And Credit MRI is one of them, and they happen to be one of the only companies, in fact, I think they might be the only company in the industry 
that does credit repair, all performance-based, meaning you pay them nothing until they actually deliver results. Guys, that's a big deal because this means that you can go to them and say, hey, I got a late payment, I got a charge off, I got a bankruptcy, I got whatever, go ahead and go to work on it. And they do, and they go to work, and if they get that item removed, then they come to you and say, hey, check it out, we got your credit score improved, we got this item removed, now you can pay the bill. Guys, that's huge. You don't believe us? This is what I want you to do. I want you to click the link below, use the reference code SPARKS, and they'll erase your first negative item for free. For free. Guys, that's a big deal. So here's the thing. Click the link below, use the promo code, give them a shot. Let them remove the first item for free. If you like their service, then tell them to remove some more. And like I said, you're not gonna pay for anything unless they actually do the work, which is a big freaking deal. So make it happen, guys. Thank you, Credit MRI, for not sucking in an industry full of companies that really do suck. Now, we return you to the regularly scheduled programming. To viewing pleasure. If we can. Actually, someone give us a ride. Drop your pin. We're at the top of the biggest hill in Salt Lake, so I that's going to give us the best chance of success getting through town. Um, the batteries are charging. The GoPros are rolling. Rolling. Nope. This one just triple beeped at me. First stop of the journey here, we're going to head on over to the scale at Buddy Harry's place and weigh the uh, Cheng Li, see what the, uh, the total weight is. I am a little concerned about the batteries though because we've been driving, <laughs> we've got about 400 feet so far and I'm down to one bar. Well, wish us luck. We're headed to the scale, which is roughly what? Probably four miles from four? here? Uh, no, yeah, maybe three miles. Okay, so if we make it to the scale, that's a good first stop. And then after that, we're gonna go get some food. Yeah. So here we go. Yeah, we should get to the drive through about 5.30. <laughs> <laughs> I'm full throttle right now, and we hit probably the smallest hill in town. Oh, and the battery, the battery is actually just saying that it's leaving. Thinking, <laughs> see, it's just Did like. Did it come fully charged? Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna play a game right now for you viewers. I'm gonna allow you guys the opportunity to drop a comment below and guess how much the Chang Li weighs fully loaded with three rows. Right now we're about to roll onto the scale. So before we do that, drop your comment below. The comment that gets the closest, that is the like the earliest, the first comment, that's the closest. Can I comment now? No, you can't comment yet. We're gonna send you a swag pack. What? That makes more sense. That makes oh more boy. Sense. Think about how strong we are. Oh boy, we're a lot heavier than we thought. We just weighed the Chang Li full with dudes, and uh, it's actually a surprising number. It's higher than I expected. Now, we're about to weigh it empty. My man's off the scale. I'm not sure if this scale is exact, exact down to the, like the 100 of pounds, because it's, it's a heavy truck scale. It's down to 20. Down to 20s, okay. Yeah. So, we've got our weights. I need you guys to drop in the comments below what you think it weighs fully loaded and what you think it weighs empty, and the comment that gets the very closest on both weights we're gonna send you a swag pack. So ready, go now. To Taco Bell. I know. To get this to USA standards, you're gonna need a bigger motor. You're probably gonna need a seatbelt to start. No, I think no, no. As a golf cart, you don't need a seatbelt. I think you take this downtown, you're making a fortune Ubering people bar hopping. Oh, you know what? Yeah. That's, I think we're headed downtown next. Subscribe, yeah, like, follow, share. Here we go. It's yeah. all of it. Yeah. Little issue here with the Cheng Li. We're out of battery, I think. It's the juice is, is gone. That's full throttle that I was just doing there and we're doing about seven miles an hour. We did do another test though. Test number three was a flatland speed test and it hit uh, 25 kilometers an hour, which is what, like 15 miles an hour, something like that. Um, that's full throttle that I was doing there and we're doing about seven miles an hour. We did do another test. Not looking great right now as far as being able to get many places. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna head on over to the hangar and pick up one of my Furman generators and probably just stab it, you know, strap it to the roof here and uh, see if we can get a little extra juice out of her get this bad boy back on the road. In order to get to the hangar, hands is gonna push me with the Raptor, which is, should be fine. So tempted to just floor it and throw them right into the ditch. <laughs> yeah. 
All right, uh, we need a little more juice here. So we're going to pull her inside here and strap a generator to the roof. We're gonna figure out the charging situation here. The old, uh, apparently it didn't get fully charged before we got it, or maybe we've already used the full range, but either way, the batteries are not stoked. So, so what's your plan here? So the plan right here is uh, we're just gonna take the generator with us. So, yeah, it'll stay. So we're gonna do some modifications here to the old Ching Lee. Racing stripes. Everybody knows racing stripes gives you like an extra five, six horses. It doesn't make sense to add any more weight, I don't think. I don't think that's skull. We can put can it put there. The parking brake on, maybe. We drilled through the ram horns to put them on the hood, and it, 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 I think it got the bone marrow. Move it. Ram it. Move it. Ram it in there. If you ever have a find a ram's skull with horns on it like this, this is one that we found on the Do island. There's hundreds of them. Through there. There's Don't more. drill into the bone or to the the, the uh, unless the you horn. like new smells. Because that was one of the worst smells I've ever experienced. It was so pungent and heavy and wouldn't go away and it's still kind of here. It's like bone marrow. I don't know what it's else to describe it. It's terrible, but it's well worth it. Well worth it. Yeah, I got, I can look. Here's the plan. We were gonna run one big Furman generator on the roof, but it's a lot of weight and we don't necessarily need that much wattage. So instead, we're gonna go down Swing. two of the smaller 2100 watt generators. These things are sweet. And the best part about them is Furman makes it so that you can pair these things together. So we have a splitter cord over here that I'm gonna show you in a minute. You can literally connect two generators together to get the power of two out of a, like one unit. We're feeling good. We got uh, we got some power now. We got a little extra power. We got the uh, Furman generators, which are going to be providing us with much needed juice to get around downtown in the old uh, Chengle. Where are we going with it? Downtown. Good news. We are uh, officially getting rid of the range anxiety with Cheng Li. I'm going to drop a generator to the roof. You can see the old battery charger there doing some work. We got one generator for the batteries. We got one generator for the sound system. And uh, obviously, it actually didn't affect the aerodynamics that much. Um, so we're going to head downtown. See if we can uh, pick anybody up, get some rides. Oh, it's got light. Look at that. Oh, you didn't see light. Light. This bad boy is dialed. Ready? Lake, so I that's going to give us the best chance of success getting through town. Um, the batteries are charging. The GoPros are rolling. Rolling. Nope. This one just triple beeped at me. The, the brakes. Uh, that's it. We're not going to be able to We're not stopping for the stop sign. I'm just glad we came to the top. You chose sidewalk. There's no brakes. Interesting choice. We <laughs> look so awesome. You made right now. Everybody's like, what is this dude doing? Take the right lane into a straight lane. Give your blinker. <laughs> <laughs> what if he just hunts us? <laughs> what if he just hunts us? So downtown Salt Lake, um, things are going well. Brakes didn't go out down the big hill, so that's a that's a plus. That's a huge plus. That guy was in happy. no mood for our shenanigans. You ready? You better get rid of the other. I'm gonna power break it. Oh sh <laughs> Are you why does that sound like a diesel? We got, we got backup. Whoa, jeez. Just with these idiots. Downtown 
Salt Lake City, Utah. Next stop, tacos. So we found some tacos down here at Don Rafa, which are some of the best tacos in Salt Lake, by the way. The old uh, car seems to be doing just fine. This guy's in here making business calls. Yeah, good. Where's my truck? Yeah, Jake Lee. That's from China, right? I like it. So cool. So uh, comfortable to travel in the city, right? From China? Yeah, from China. So I do this car. I want. Yeah, I won't have that, that car over there, but I think that's impossible. But you can't do that. You're so lucky. Yeah. yeah thank you. Good, good luck. Thank you. Wait, is he driving the Charger? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, hold All on. Right. That's so the most backwards like, thing I've ever seen. It was like, I love that car. I wanted one of those in China, but I could never get one. But it, it's been trying to do a taco review for 10 minutes now. Where's the. Where one might ever knows the rules. This is uh, Pastor Don Rafa Tacos, downtown Salt Lake City. Beer review with Jake, you gotta give a real review. Free salsa. See, I had her do something different. I had her put cream on them. Yeah, the cream is good though. The cream was really good. Um, really good. It's cold outside, so the taco got cold pretty quick, but... <laughs> no. Here's the thing. The meat, excellent. Tortilla, excellent. Salsa. The problem is it's COVID times right now, so you can't make your own salsa. You can't do it. So I make it for you, but... All things considered, they're getting a seven tonight. It's time to review tacos, which heavy D Andy, so Dave, and myself are huge fans of. What kind of sewers? Yeah, I, professionals at this point, really. I'm gonna give you a fair review. Let's see how I got one bite. Last door. Last door at the same time. Mm. Okay. Here's my review. Meat, delicious. You don't usually do sour cream on street tacos, which you should, because it's delicious. I think the salsa is pretty good. A little bit spicy, but tortillas were not cooked very well. And in my in my experience, if you want to have a real street taco, you have to have Mexican cheese on the top. So I'm gonna go with a seven. Seven on mine. Okay. There's a lot of vegetables on there, taking away from the delicious flavor of the meat. Yeah. Probably put too many on there. So I actually like the tortilla. What? The meat's delicious. Perfect temperature. Because I can just eat as many as I want. I'm a generous, a generous guy. No. The past work is an eight. Yes, I am a generous. I am the generous eight. ranker. Yeah. So what's our average score? Seven, nine, seven, seven and eight. eight. So seven, five is the average. Tacos don't Rafa? Seven, five. Not bad because we're some tough critics. Yeah, really tough. Not me. Really? really I'm not that tough. I am. Battery is not loving the cold and the fat guys. So we got Bud hooked us up to the tow rope. He's gonna give us a lift back to the shop, let this thing recharge, and uh, we're probably gonna call that a night, actually. But um, you better believe there's another episode coming where we take this bad boy off road and get some air. It's your moment. What you've been waiting for your whole life, boy. Thank the crap out of him. Give him whip. Yep. Yep. <laughs> How did he stick mug up so high? I don't know. I thought he had helper bags for a minute. Did he just do a burnout? Yeah. yeah. The back of his truck lifted like 10 feet up the air. <laughs> oh, we're so screwed. <laughs> I gotta get over here and be the defense mechanism. We've got Bud giving us a tug home, and I'm pretty sure we just did 60. Tell Bud to slow it down like to 30. But there's no slowing down for Bud, dude. Bud's an all or nothing kind of guy. Bud's in granny gear right is that, now. Is 
that our brakes again? Yep. Oh, yeah. Good news is we're almost a sick Oh, Look at him. He's power braking again. <laughs> How come this has an electric motor, too? <laughs> oh, shoot. Oh, boy. Hang on, hang on. Hang on. Oh, he's going to pop. It's <laughs> so fast. Ford fucking Oh, I'm getting speed wobbles. Gee. Okay, we're... Oh, what's uh -oh. that sound? Oh, shit. What's that sound? That's the electric motor. Is something going to bust through the, end, the bottom of the thing? So we're going... Wait, were you floating? Jeez. Yeah. Oh, that puts a lot of voltage in the system. Every Jeez. time I hit the gas... It puts like 80 volts in the system. Oh, that's gonna burn the batteries up under my butt. Yeah, you probably just, well, do it for a while, then warm it up in here, and then you put it in for a while. All right, so Bud's pulling us right now. We're doing probably close to- 70. <laughs> we're probably going close to 40 miles an hour right now. <laughs> uh, um, the batteries are no longer participating in tonight's activities. Ah, oh, jeez, this is this so much slack on the rope. So there's actually a story of Bud back because he's from Ohio. In Ohio, he worked for a, a like a towing company, right? A repo, repo, not just towing, but repo. And there was this girl who they had a hard time getting her car, right? They kept trying to repo her car, and she just it, it was impossible. So they hired Bud to repo the car from this girl. Bud hits her up on Facebook, hits on her, asks her out on a date. She agrees to a date. He takes her out, right, to a nice fancy restaurant, takes her out, orders his food, eats his food, cheats her food. Then he goes to the bathroom, sneaks out the window at this restaurant after he's eaten. Hasn't paid for any food, right? <laughs> sneaks out the window, repos this chick's car as she's inside waiting for Bud to come back. Now she's left with the bill for the food. She has no car when she comes out and Bud blocked her on every platform possible. So, yeah, that's Bud in a nutshell. If you don't know what Bud's like, that's him. A badass. A hero. assistant getting back to the shop because the batteries just weren't uh we're no longer cooperating well, but uh we made it and what did we learn today guys what did we learn if you want to go go hard if you can dream it you can do it yeah i'm buying a ford ranger if you <laughs> are looking for decent street tacos in salt lake go to don rafa no this thing listen it did a great job 
Uh, come here, let's talk about this real quick. What do we think about the Chengli? What do we think this about is, it? This is day one of testing it. Obviously, we went around town, went to the drive through We did the weighing. We did the speed test. We did the drive through test. We did the shocks. We did the shock mm -hmm. test. We did the parking garage. Payload test. Payload test. We maxed it out. Uh, uh, range test. I got to tell you, my honest reviews, it's cute. The shocks were great at first. It's fun for a minute, and it is one grade higher than a golf cart. Is it higher than a golf cart, though? Yeah, because it's enclosed. Okay. And it has a heater. Here's the thing. If you didn't overload it drastically like we did, yeah. 700 pounds, yeah. uh, then it would probably be great. If it was just one of us cruising around or you and your kids, yeah. fantastic. However, we're not done with the world's cheapest car yet. That was just the road testing. Yeah, give it some more power. Next up, we're going to, uh, we're going to jump it. Or we're gonna take it off road, off the Grand Canyon. Or we're gonna do something uh, along those lines. Yeah, you know. Um, There's my ride. So, with that said, Diesel Dave's ride is here. We're gonna pull <laughs> the Cheng Li in for the night. We're gonna hook it on the charger. We're gonna get it a proper charge, and then uh, stay tuned because, you know, we're not done with it yet. We haven't popped a thrill cherry. Nah. Well, that was a break in. Yeah. That was a nice mellow break in. Yeah. Next time when you see us driving, it might not have the generators on the roof because uh, they'll be in. Well, hey. no. I want everyone to take that much care. That's, look, how, look, how, look how tenderly he's rolling on my tow rope. If only everyone. If only buddy, care. everybody cared as much as Buddy. Yep. Buddy, Bud. Anyways, hey guys, hope you liked the video. Make sure that, well, we're going to tell them the weights. Now, just put the, no. the weights on the screen because I can't even remember them. But whoever was closest for both weights, empty and loaded, you get a free razor from Dave's Garage. <laughs> Oh, no. oh, ah. Come and get it. Run the plug on cheap. <laughs> PDR guy? Yeah, I got it. Got the dents out, I think. <sighs>